Hi there, Joka here with a new layout for the Page Evans design team. This is my first layout with the new Bungalow Lane collection. Here you can see a peek at the um, 12 by 12 pattern paper pad. So these are the colors in the collection and patterns. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I was really excited uh, about getting started. And my first layout is going to be about the first day um, of seventh grade for my kiddo that was uh, last week and I you know when I first get a collection I just want to use everything all at once so a good way to do that is using a cut file that has a lot of um, openings like this geometric pattern here or an like a geometric apple apple so i can add a lot of different patterns to to back this cut file um originally i wanted to go with um like a large title that i do quite often but that's also good to showcase a few different pattern papers um but in the end I actually ended up not using a big variety. I just went with, um, obviously for the the leaf here, I went with greens and um, the stem is just one brown paper, although there were actually several in the collection. And then for the apple itself, I think I mainly just went with um, kind of reddish, pinkish, orangey colors. So it's not a huge variety, but it's still, um, you know, it's it's a lot of the a lot of my favorite patterns and colors in this collection. And I, funnily enough, I mean. When I first saw the collection, I thought, okay, this will fit perfectly with my pictures today because um, it's kind of, I think my kid is wearing yellow and blue and both are in the collection. And then I ended up not using these colors much at all. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's in Paige's collections, there's always a lot of um, colors that you can use for boy layouts, but I just didn't feel like creating a, a typical boy layout. So, yeah, <laughs> it's pink. Um, okay, so I'm adding some um, tissue paper behind my... Um, pictures like I always do and then I continue backing the apple. I will not back every single piece but most of them I will but you know where I wanted to have my photos it would be a waste of time to, to back those pieces. But sometimes I just uh, you know I, I prefer having the freedom like if I back the whole cut file, then I can move around my photos um, later as well, because often I plan to do something and then I totally change my mind. So, you know, but I did leave a few open. Um, so I decided to use some blue. Um, this is a really dark navy blue um, striped paper, one of my favorites. And so that's what I'm going for uh, in my background. And then I just, you know, it's a very simple layout. I have a big focal point with that apple and then just add my photos, a, a bit of uh, layering here and there. And for the, those I'm using um, die cuts from the ephemera pack, just um, some frame and um, tags and what have you. Uh, I did also add some green since there's a you know in the leaf there is a bit of green I didn't want that to be the the only green on the layout so I'm using some green um, in the title and also around my photo 
And then I found this apple in the die cut pack. So I wanted to use that too. And then I'm just going through the embellishments, what fits, um, some, I, I wanted to use this sticker, for instance, just making the most of today because that actually would have been great. But because I misplaced this apple um, and I couldn't, like you saw, I couldn't lift it up and place it somewhere else, which is to, more towards uh, the, the right, I I didn't end up using that particular embe embellishment. I will add something else there. And then I'm using this sticker for my journaling. I'm, I didn't really want to add a lot, a lot of text. Um, and of course, it's a bit ironic that I'm using happy day and things like that when obviously my kid was absolutely not happy. He really doesn't like school. I don't know, are there kids that like school? I, I don't think I ever did. I only like to go there to meet friends, <laughs> but definitely, I don't know, I cringe when I think about going back to school. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out the placement here, and as you can see, there's a um, part of the apple peeking through at the, um, well, in the middle that I did not back. And that's where I wanted to add an, an embellishment, but it, it was too low um, with this placement. So I had to rethink that. Now I'm stamping my um, date and I'm just layering these pieces um, behind the photo. And here you see, I'm trying to find a placement for that uh, tag kind of thing. And I would have preferred to add that a bit more towards uh, the this, like the middle area of the photo, not at the bottom. It just didn't feel right. So I placed the apple there and I'm just adding a little bit of red peeking through there at the left side because I was missing that color there. I can't really explain why. <laughs> I just looked at it and it was just missing. Um, okay, so I attached that tiny um, chipboard piece at the top because it, it was kind of empty, that section. And then I'm writing my journaling, tuck it in uh, behind the, the photos. And then I'm almost done. Um, I actually normally glue down the the chipboard alphas like I remove the the sticker backing from it and then I'll just use liquid glue but they seemed to stick well but then later when I was photographing the layout I noticed that they would fall off so I will have to fix that at some point and then this is the last step. I'm just adding some white splatters again because it felt kind of empty there. And yeah, that's it. It's quick and simple, but I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.